That's good. We have to show that right now. Might come back to that. Okay, so, all right, this is a very important thing. So, uh, I showed you the other day, it's kind of, it can be pretty messy, these distributions. The, the one from the brown corpus, the language one, they can be pretty messy. So, when I talked about integrating them to clean them up. And so, this is this idea, and we'll use this notation. So, this is a probably that uh, your sample is greater than x, at least equal to x. And so, and you could write it like this if you want. It's uh, the one minus the cumulative distribution. So this is a standard thing in statistics. This is what we'll call a complementary cumulative distribution, sometimes called the exceedance probability. And so, simple construction, right? We're going to integrate from our value x to infinity, and so we want, you know, what this is. What is the probability that we're at least at x? Right. And again, cumulatives are pretty common, we use them all, all the time, but this is the complementary cumulative. Uh, this is a simple little integration, right? So we're gonna, we, there's a constant, we're not worried about this, this is our power law, x to the minus gamma, it's x prime, we got a dummy variable, just integrate that thing, so there's minus gamma plus one up here, yes. Uh, evaluate at these two pieces, and um, so infinity, this is, this is greater than one, so this is gonna disappear, and then we just have x at the, uh, bottom end. So if you can see this, this is a this is this is why we you know choose to do this because we end up with another power law uh, with a different exponent, it's minus gamma plus one. So we've gone from our original probability distribution, which is this x to the minus gamma. The complementary cumulative is x to the minus gamma plus one. And because this is integration, it smooths things out, right? Differentiation breaks things up and makes things messier. Integration will smooth it out. This will give us better data. We can look at this and, and draw straight lines on them. Right? We're trying to do regression to find these exponents and these log-log plots. Generally speaking, it's easier to work in this space. OK. So uh, it's fine when it's just the tail. right? And um, this is the summary. It just increases the exponent by 1. And so here, here are some plots. Right? So here's a PDF. And this is, again, this brown corpus. Lots of scatter and so on. Right, the was out here. This is the word the. Um, it appears about, in this case, what was it? Mm, this is log 10 of Q. This is actually about 6%. And there's only one word that has that frequency of usage. And there are many words that are rare. That's what this piece is. So if you go to each point here and then integrate this way, which is what we did, then you, it smooths out and this exponent has been lifted up by 1. And you see it's going to be a little messy in places, right? This is not exactly straight. It's going to be messy out here. There are, there are less points out here, of course. But we're going to feel a little bit better about regressing on this thing. Not super. It's, it's OK. There's not a lot. I mean, there are, what is it, 2.5. There's a couple of orders of magnitude. It's not bad. Just an example. Yeah, so this is the number, so it's always going to be decreasing. So, so the, the cumulative distribution is always increasing, right? Because how many things are less than something? How many things are greater, that's going to go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, it's good. And it's back in, partly in here, right? So this is, this is, ex, this is increasing with x, and it's 1 minus, sorry. This is, the, this is a cumulative distribution. That's something that's monotonic. Yeah, right. One minus means it's going to be, yep, good. Good. So you always, you always expect to see this. OK. Uh, same story if it's a discrete variable. Um, we've just got probably of k. k equals 1, 2, 3. Then usually, usually the game here is we write, we put our, I haven't shown it here, but we always turn sums into integrals. Rough approximation. So that's OK. It's the story here, and we get the same thing. It's rough, but it's the same idea. Same thing holds. 